right, so for this video, I'd like to mention I had a comment from a, a person, I guess, on one of the on one of my videos that has asked me to create a custom flying vehicle. So here we have a clip of me and a friend messing around with it. So let's begin with it here right now. And of course, I have the stupid thing. There we go. So right now, we're going to have a friend of mine actually use it. And as we see, we have the plane right in front of me. And my friend Charismic will be getting in this. So he's going to activate it from that point. And let's watch. Hello, this is Jake. And today I have something pretty awesome to show you today. So let's just show you what it is. I'm going to pick up this assault rifle here. And I'm just going to do this for a little bit. take a little bit it's like well dang it looks like we're out of ammo I see an ammo pack there but I thought those only work for sniper rifles well let's see about that ah sweet <laughs> so yeah I uh, found a way to make ammo packs that work for all weapons uh, rather than just the sniper and the rockets using the magic of scripting so I have this set on a 10 second respawn, so we can go back up and grab it and get some more ammo, so forth. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward um, how, it, how to pick them up and stuff. So what's happening here is that I am, we have an on enter on zone obviously around the ammo box. And when you get to the ammo box right here it spawns in a assault rifle so quickly that you can't pick it up and in that case it picks it gives you the ammo so forth so let's show you how to make it in forge all right so here we are in forge and let's begin with the with the tutorial all right let's start with this we have the sniper rifle ammo box you can obviously use other objects as your ammo box but i'm using an ammo box so you go into this and you have it on spawn time never in advance place it start false candy spawn true and on spawn channel then you need a timer on once and the timer on once must be with a broadcast channel of three that will spawn in your box right at the start of the game then you have a on enter on zone this needs to be on broadcast channel zero and you have an assault rifle here. And you notice how I've placed it so that the indicator is directly on top of the box. That makes it kind of useful just for seeing where the box is and so forth. Because even when this is despawned, it will have that like an indicator of it something being there. So the assault rifle needs to be spawn time never. Advance, place it start false. Candy spawn true and spawn channel of one. Yeah, on yeah, on was zero. All right, then we go over to this logic, and this just has to do with the despawning and spawning, especially with the assault rifle. So you want a timer on once with a power channel of zero, a broadcast channel of one, and a timer user data of one second. Then you need a timer off once, which needs to be power channel one, broadcast channel one, and timer user data of one second. That will spawn and despawn the assault rifle fast enough that you can't pick it up or even actually see it spawn. So now we need a timer on. This timer on needs to be on power channel 0, broadcast channel 2. Then we need a timer off. The timer off needs to be on power channel 2, broadcast channel 2, and the respawn time of your ammo box. So whatever that is, that will need to be here. Then you'll need a timer toggle once. This will need to be on power channel two, broadcast channel three. And then you need a timer toggle once again. And this needs to be on power channel two, broadcast channel three. With your respawn time, again, whatever your respawn time will be, in my case, it's 10 seconds. And then finally, you need a timer off which needs to be on power channel zero, broadcast channel zero, and your respawn time. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, the uh, you can set your clip size on the 
So you can like choose how much ammo you have. Right now this just does one clip of the assault rifle and so forth. So you can do this with all weapons. You can do it with rockets, which <laughs> wouldn't make sense because the rockets already have an ammo pack. But BRs, SMGs, any weapon that has a clip. It will not work with, say, a sword, as a sword doesn't have a clip, it's a sword. Or, let's see, is there anything else? And, and uh, oh, like plasma, most of the Covenant weapons, it works with the Brute Shot and the Fuel Rod, but, for instance, the Sentinel Beam is a percentage-based gun, so you would not work for that. It can also be like a, green, a grenade refiller, so you can pick up grenades from it, so forth. All the above. So that's what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.